this might be the latest video I have started this year so but I thought let me get a move on because I need a video for Monday <laughs> and I haven't even started recording yet welcome to this vlog hopefully it has something in it I don't know if it's going to have <sighs> With that being said, <laughs> this week or these few days I'm going to read The Dive. It's an ARC by Sarah, uh, don't know what her surname is. I know it starts with an O, <laughs> which is very helpful. It's a murder mystery kind of book. It's um, set in Taiwan, I think. And it's about two girls, one with a serious secret of which she's not telling us. And the other one who's really obsessed with this girl who has a secret like she's following her everywhere she is a travel influencer but she's also there for other reasons and from what i can gather from the blurb is this girl who has this heavy secret is also a diving instructor and then one day while diving she finds a dead body and uh, there's someone out there who is also trying to end her life. That is what I can gather about this book. I really hope I can finish it by, say, Friday. Because it's Wednesday now. It's Wednesday evening. Um, and I just... The need to read hasn't been there. So I'm hoping in the next few days I can start reading. Start getting my gears in order and everything. <laughs> so that I can read. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to come on and introduce the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. Why do I always create book challenges that make me have to pack up every single book afterwards? I'm so tired right now. Okay, so I did not make a massive dent in the dive, but I'm getting there, slowly but surely. I am there where they finally discovered the, the girl's body, and I kind of figured out who it was going to be, and I'm slowly trying to figure out who the culprit is. I have no idea who it is, by the way. I'm just spewing information, like thinking, oh, maybe it could be you, maybe it could be you. But yeah, right now, I'm quickly going to export my videos that I just recorded, and then I'm going to edit them and schedule them for tomorrow, because tomorrow is quite a busy day. It might be public holiday for us, but um, I'm still working. And um, then I have to go for my engagement shoot, as well as a family photo shoot, so it's one of those things. So anyway, I'm not complaining, I'm just I'm tired. But yeah, so while I'm expo I just had a heart attack. While I'm exporting the videos, I will be sitting and reading. No more YouTube videos. It's just eyes on the prize. You sit on a throne of lies. Be reading. We're trying to finish this book by tomorrow. I am back from the photo shoot and I burnt like nobody's business. Ain't that great? Have I read anything yet? No. <laughs> I'm going to play The Sims then. And we'll possibly read something tomorrow. I just, I need, I need me time. You know? And I was going to see if I wanted to swim, but I just did my hair. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. it. It looks nice. But yeah, just did my hair, so... I look like a lobster on my shoulders. Anyway, so I don't think I'll be chatting a lot. Unless if I wait for the Sims to load. I'll probably read a few pages. But I am so sick and tired of reading. <laughs> and I know this is not what you want to hear from me. But it's how I feel. I just I don't have the energy. Okay, so um, happy Saturday, guys. <laughs> I haven't been reading at all. Um... But I am going to do it now, ish. I've been playing The Sims for like three hours. I think I saved an hour ago and then my Sim died while pulling down a Murphy bed. So I was very unhappy, wasn't really in the mood to restart everything. So I'm just chilling in the bed with my two dogs. So I don't know, maybe I should take a nap before I start reading it. <sighs> I'm so tired and I don't even know why. But anyway, I think... I am going to read for like three hours, take a break, and then finish the book. Because I am currently on, I think it's 16, I'm at 18%. <sighs> okay, so let, let's all hope and pray that this book gets finished. And then I don't think I want to look at another book for the rest of the year. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's also very concerning since I have a 48-hour reading vlog next week. or well, the week after for me now, but it's next week for you. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so it's a bit later in the day. Let me just rest you on my knee because <laughs> my arm's getting tired already. I've reached 50% of the dive and I have so many questions. There's just so much happening. Uh, one of our main characters has like a really dog backstory. I think I mentioned this, but um, it involves the death of her father and her sister. And the way she describes it makes me think that she killed them. So... 
I don't know. But I don't think she did. It's just the way she describes it. It's just very curious. And the other character, her name is Brooke. She also has a dog past. From what I can gather, try to take her own life. But there's no indication of why. Just that it was someone's doing. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Just sounds like she tried to take her own life because whatever this person did was so bad for her that she couldn't live with herself. And every, okay, I was just attacked by something that fell. Um, every single person on this island that works at this Thai island has such dog secrets. It's all just getting curiouser and curiouser. Are they hinting at a person who it might be the killer? just by the way he acts and everything, but I don't think it's him. I have a feeling that this is a group effort um, because more people are dying on this island and um, someone's blaming one of the characters. Although, even though she has no recollection of what is happening or what happened the night of the murder, um, I don't think it's her who did it, unless she has like a split personality. But... I doubt it's her. But she's also coming all very uncertain. Like, she's giving a very uncertain narrative. So you don't know whether you should believe her or not. I still think she's innocent. She's the main character. Of course she's going to be innocent. <laughs> I'll see if I can get to 75% today and then read the rest of the 25% tomorrow. Or if it's getting so good, then I'll maybe just, you know, read the rest of the book today. And then I can finally call it and be like, that is my last arc, last arc for 2022 because I cannot anymore. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I am currently... I'm just diving right into it. Okay. <laughs> I'm 64% into the dive and it's getting so, so good. The only reason why I jumped on this is because this is the second time I've read someone mentioning something about South Africans and, you know, how lawless we are. We're not that lawless. Not every one of us are lawless. But anyway, in the story, she explains um, that this guy was on a midday bender and he was trying to attack a cop. He was kind of like a cocky dude. And we do have them. Really, we do. I think in every country, they are there. But anyway. And, you know, she's just saying he was a South African. And I'm like, I feel attacked. Obviously, some people, like I say, are arrogant sometimes when you are in another country. Like, you just feel, I don't know, like nobody can tell you what to do. But a lot of us do know that we are in a different country and the laws are different. Anyway, just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> Also, look at this. We went for the photo shoot on Friday and usually because my eyes are brown, I do turn brown after, you know, burning in the sun. But this is like complete another burn. This is, I don't know, matching my shirt. Isn't that nice? Anyway, so it's sore. <laughs> Woke up at six this morning with the shoulder just burning because I scraped my shirt across it. Realized that I should not be wearing t-shirts while my shoulders are burnt like this. So tonight I'm sleeping in like a spaghetti strap top. Just so that if it scrapes, it doesn't take off half of my skin. Because I can already feel the bubbles popping up. So now everywhere I'm going, and I know I mentioned this before, but everywhere I'm going to go, it's sunblock. I am going to leather myself in sunblock because I just can't anymore. <laughs> it's, the sun is so horrible. And you... Because it was like an overcast day. And I know you burn worse with an overcast day. But I didn't think the photo shoot was going to be that long. It was like an hour. But spending an hour in the sun without any protection could do this to you. Anyway. Um, but other than that, I'm really enjoying this book. There's, it, it took a turn that I wasn't expecting. We finally figured out who's been sending one of the main characters these threatening letters. And the, the minute the chapter ended, I was like, I did not expect that. I did not expect that from you. Because <laughs> I somehow knew this person was involved, but I didn't think it was to that degree. But yeah, we live and we learn. So um, hopefully I can finish this book today. Uh, I'm currently actually playing The Sims because I'm not in the mood to do anything else. I think that's about that. I'm just going to play The Sims, read, read and play The Sims, you know, that kind of thing. And then I'll update you once I am either finished or when there's another plot twist and I just need to spew some thoughts. But yeah, that is, that is it. Hopefully. If you guys see this tomorrow, you should be so proud of me. <laughs> Hey guys, I always end out these vlogs looking disheveled as hell, but what can you do about it? Okay, so I finished this book yesterday and it was 
so mind-boggling it wasn't bad at all i don't know why i've been sitting on this book for so long i think it's just uh, to get through the book was was a process but i got there in the end not the book's fault at all i just i'm overreading basically i'm giving you this update like i haven't been speaking to you for like a few days but <laughs> Anyway, I described this book in my Goodreads review as the author tied everything up in such a neat bow and then the epilogue came and it just, it smashed it all. <laughs> I would have been content with the last chapter and then the epilogue came and it just, I don't know how to explain it. It was very good. I'm not complaining. I gave it five stars, but it's just the whole, hmm... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this because the character who confessed they were guilty and then afterwards it was just a mess and why they were guilty and I was sitting there going why 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 it paves the way for a sequel it seems like but it was just so it was a messy end in the end it was such a messy end and I liked it I really did it's, I just feel, I still feel like I'm stuck in that world and I really want to go back and there's no sequel and I'm just sitting here going, I want to go back. There's no way to explain this. <laughs> it's just me wanting to be in that area, even though, you know, there were murders and whatnot and all that. I just, I love the characters so much. Brooke in particular was my favorite because she doesn't stand down from a fight. You know, she goes in for the kill and she she fights for what is right and I just liked her. I didn't like Cass as much because um, she was this timid kind of person and I understand why she was like that. But every time someone mentioned, oh, maybe, say for example, the one person who was killed and then the group told her it was an accident. You know, maybe you were hallucinating because you are in shock. And she's just like, oh yeah, okay, maybe I was in shock. And I'm like... The only point I'm trying to make is I love this book, I enjoyed this book, and I really want to get my hands on the sequel, but the book is only coming out in, like, maybe now, in March, <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to wait another year for the sequel to come out. Maybe the, the author writes fast, I don't know. But anyway, that is going to be it for this vlog. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below the Palm Beach emoji, and I'll see you guys in a video, maybe now, Wednesday. Bye, guys. <laughs>